All right, let's begin with a breaking update. It's the day today. What is now being expected that the Election Commission of India will be announcing the polling dates for the Gujarat Assembly elections. This is the announcement that in all likelihood will be made today as the ECI in a statement has released as 12 noon as the time as they will be holding a press briefing in all likelihood. This is going to be the announcement for the upcoming assembly polls in the state of Gujarat. Let me open my colleague Rishabh live on the broadcast. Rishabh, a crucial day of course it is going to be as we were waiting for election commission to announce uh, poll dates for the state of Gujarat. Rishabh. Uh, Shabhya, good morning both of, to both of you. Uh, Gujarat, Gujarat election will be announced as what we are being told by election commission sources uh, at 12 noon in Delhi election commission will hold a full board conference and announce the dates for Gujarat election. Remember Himachal elections have already been uh, announced and 12th of November is when Himachal will cast, uh, will cast its vote for the next government and the counting as per rule will happen on December 8th. So we know that the counting for Gujarat also will happen on December 8th. Uh, all eyes on what are the dates, how many phases in Gujarat elections. Absolutely, because the Election Commission had indicated that the counting of votes for Gujarat would also take place on the 8th of December, keeping the date of the counting for Himachal Pradesh almost a month after polling. Uh, but uh, what are the indications really, Rishabh, that we are picking up? Because this is going to be a high-stake battle, especially when it comes to the state of Gujarat. Definitely. See, the state of Gujarat does have uh, importance and uh, that is the reason if you see uh, the polling for H uh, Himachal is on 12th and the counting happens almost uh, a month, four days short a month on 8th of December. This is the time when we can see uh, multiple phases of Gujarat elections as well. Even uh, in uh, 2017, if you remember, Himachal dates were announced uh, quite before uh, the Gujarat elections and in mid of November only we uh, heard from the election commission about the dates of Gujarat election this time around also or the, uh, similarly Himachal elections were announced at least uh, two, uh, three weeks ago but today uh, we are expecting the Gujarat elections to come in it will definitely be in multiple phases we'll have to wait and see how many uh, uh, you know uh, phases it will be it's around 200 seats in Gujarat assembly and uh, it's a high stake battle remember BJP has changed multiple chief ministers in last five years from Vijay Rupani to uh, uh, Bhupendra Patel right now. So uh, we'll have to wait and see uh, how and what uh, the election dates would be. But definitely, be it Congress, be it BJP or the new entrant, Aam Aadmi Party, all of them are putting all guns open in uh, Gujarat to ensure that they form the next government. All right. Thank you, Rishabh, for sharing all those crucial updates. All eyes will be at 12 p.m. when this press conference is going to begin by the Election Commission.